I got the iPhone 12 a few weeks ago, but I was actually planning on getting the mini. I'm glad it wasn't released. I didn't realize at the time that it was coming out later. I just went for the big one, the 12 Pro Max, which is good because I make a lot of mistakes typing because I have really big thumbs. So I opted for the 12 Pro Max and watching a lot of YouTube videos, I'm more and more confident with my decision. So welcome to the unboxing video of my 12 Pro Max. I should probably hit record on my 12 and my DJI OM4 video is up or will be up soon so check out that video subscribe for it and of course please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so let's just center this box here on still getting used to this gimbal on the gimbal maybe closer there that should be perfect all right so let's do this here's my handy dandy pocket knife utility knife whatever you want to call it I was so happy to see UPS today because I knew exactly what it was. Friday the 13th, iPhone delivery day. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. No more knife needed because Apple packages things super, super nicely. Should probably take that OM4 box out of the frame. All right, so that's a nice, even the cardboard box, like the corrugated cardboard is nice. Nicely done. It's very secure. Securely wrapped into the box. So I'm gonna slide that out. So, this out of the way, hopefully you didn't catch a glimpse of my address, not that it really matters. I don't think anyone's gonna kidnap me. So I have my other iPhone boxes for comparison. iPhone XR, which is the same as the 11 last year. It's, it had the charging brick. iPhone 12, slightly smaller in all aspects than its predecessor, and definitely a lot thinner, which obviously is because there's no charging brick. There's the comparison there. Slightly less tall, slightly less wide, and not so slightly less deep. And now if we compare that to the 12 Pro Max, I really like what they're doing this year with those pull tabs. It's a little dusty, but that's okay. Alright, so it is quite a bit taller quite a bit wider uh, and depth wise it's almost identical but I'm told it's a little bit deeper or I don't know if deeper is the right word you can't really see it on the camera but it is slightly slightly bigger that way too all right so I can put the 12 bucks away too and now for the unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and if you want the full review hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so there's what it looks like. Love that sound. Love, love, love that sound. So. Oh, that blue. That blue. All right, let me show you the cutout here, which is a nice touch. But yeah, that blue is amazing. Wow. I was tempted to go for the black, but I am glad I went for the blue. Blue is my favorite color, and uh, oh, they did a good job with this blue. That is nice. The cameras are massive. I don't know how different they are from the 10R, but I'm going to show you. But man, they look very impressive. Oh, that is dusty. That's embarrassing. All right, I don't know if you can appreciate that. That's coming through. But yeah, that is very much bigger than the two generations ago camera, which I mean is to be expected. You have this handy dandy tab down here. 
that you can lift the iPhone up with. And of course, underneath you have the charging cable, the paperwork with the one Apple sticker. And I'm not gonna take these out now because I already have 12 with all that stuff. So I'm gonna leave all that in the box and take this off. Nice ASMR action here. Oh, look at that glossy side. That is really beautiful. Okay. Wow. And now, I'll power it up. And my 12 came with a decent battery charge. So let's see what this one comes with. Hey, it's super shiny. All right, so let's hold it up here. Hello. Let's set it up. So this is how you set up a new iPhone English. Oh, that's pretty cool. So on my 12, uh, it immediately saw that I have a new iPhone and it's asking if I want to set it up. So I'll click continue. Not sure what that'll do with the recording, but I'm pretty much done with it anyway. So I'll click continue and now it's connecting and it's doing the same pair thing that it does for the Apple Watch. So I will hold it. Oh, that was quick. It saw it and it is connecting. It's asking me for my passcode. As you can tell, I've never done this before. I almost told you my passcode. <laughs> oh boy. Not that it would matter. Okay. So it's setting it up. Not gonna put this on the screen yet in case it gives you my personal details. All right, so it just says it'll take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Probably cut this part out. Oh, okay. So I think it stopped recording, that's okay. And on my old one, old iPhone 12, it says finish on your new phone. So keep this phone near, keep this iPhone near your new iPhone while your information is transferred. Face ID, iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional blah, 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 continue. All right, so I'm setting up the Face ID. That's what it looks like. That's very familiar. If you've had an iPhone recently, you have to hold it and look. All the way around, a couple times. Oh, scan complete. All right, continue. Do it again, okay, slowly. By the way, I realize I did not shave today or do anything really. Um, my grandpa died yesterday, so it's been a rough, rough couple of days. Um, so this is a nice break. This kind of distracts my brain from that whole situation. Transfer from iPhone or download? I'm gonna transfer from iPhone. So it says this will take 10 to 15 minutes. I will not make you watch during that time. This is a nice phone. I have big hands, so I find this extremely comfortable. Somebody, one of the YouTubers was saying that it might be a little much having such a big phone with square edges. I don't find that to be the case at all. I'm 6'1", 6'2", depending on the day. And so if you're around that height, I would suggest that you would find this to be very comfortable. All right, agree to terms and conditions. All right, continue. Setting up from your other iPhone. Apple Pay, yes. I do want to add my credit cards. Okay, so remember in my cards, I'm not gonna show you the screen once again, but I love how Apple does that because setting it up from scratch, I mean, it's just an extra step. You have to take a picture of your card. It's just way easier like this. All right, so it does need the security code. And I don't think I actually have the card on me. I don't. I still have to do that later then. It wants me to set up my Apple Watch too. Share audio recordings to improve Siri, iPhone analytics, share, app analytics, share. All right, I'm back. So I don't know what just happened. Um, the screen went black. Not, oh, okay, it's rebooting. That's a good sign, right? Transfer complete. 
Your data has been transferred to your other iPhone. Before you trade in, give away, or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. Okay, continue. Beauty, all right. We are back in business. Ooh, I like this. My apps are loading already. That was super easy. Thank you, Apple. Initial thought, thoughts. Initial thoughts. Um, you know, Marquez Brownlee says that it's a fingerprint magnet on the side. And I'm okay with that. I keep my phones in cases, but in case I ever want to use it case less, it is a beautiful shiny finish. So I really appreciate that. I do like the matte back and the shiny camera bump. Those are really nice. And like I said, that glossy side is really, really nice. Can't really tell you the good, the bad, the ugly yet. If you want that review, hit the subscribe button. And again, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Turn that thing blue. Do it now. And if you disliked it, I would ask that you hit the dislike button twice or once if you really want to. That's fine too. Until next time. Cheers. That's a peace sign, not a cheer sign.